for that. I'm going to be streaming as I always do. It's a full-time job. And for those of you that stuck around to the very start, I always remember you, and I cherish you, and I thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah, if you like what you see, you know, give back. But we are, we're also going to give back to you guys. You do exclamation point coin box IRL on chat if you want to win a signed jersey. Yep. But yeah, here we are. Grand Finals! Air Fryer with the five gifted, the rotating box on the top. Put some R's for Ray's Air Fryer. Thank you. Now, for the people at home, what you didn't notice is that we actually set both of these guys up in an online arena. <laughs> Grand Finals is to be played online. Could you imagine? There's two, there's two switches <laughs> on stage. Oh, you thought, you thought this was going to be Nicole Box, huh? <laughs> what, what, we, we, do, you know who the, do you know what this is? What, okay. was, what was the Summit side event where they added buffer on purpose? Yeah, 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 I remember that. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. So and you can crank it, too, with a knob. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, just get the extra latency there. We'll do the lag test in person, too. Yep. Get the mod request. Oh, can you imagine though? That's oh, that's a gamble. That is a quick gamble from Sonic's going oh, up. A sign of the set to come? Uh, well, we did see that in Winter's one of the up. games in Winners, actually, where mm -hmm. it was a really early stock with the spring literally on the other side of the stage, yeah. basically in the same position, and then Spargo won. So. Yeah. But still, like, Sonic's playing hot. Just an amazing win off of Lima. And Spargo's been sitting cold for a bit. He hasn't been playing the game. Mm hmm. Okay. It's such a real thing oh. where the person coming from losers resets, but then the other person wins when they warmed up. Sonic's parries are actually on point right now, so this is actually a little bit terrifying for Spargo. He's got to be very, very precise in the way that he's throwing out these aerials. But dude, after 14 hours, dude, we're all the way here in the home stretch, the grand final. Yep, got the stock. Oh, barely going to live. Slicing him up. Yeah, not quite enough there. Or it was enough. I don't know what happened, but hey. I will take those, I guess. Maybe one resource lost right there, but either way, uh, if I'm Spargo, I'm taking that to the bank. It's like I said, Sonic has that extra momentum from winning Losers Finals. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, no, that, that definitely comes in clutch here. You get a little bit more warmed up. And it's like, I feel like you can find a lot of Clouds who are pretty solid, right? But I feel like you can't find a lot of Sonics who are really solid, like, at the drop of the hat, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, I, I would imagine Sonics have got some good practice in Spargo. I mean, I mean, hopefully they found something. Also, if we're going by lore, Sonics is owed one SD per tournament. <laughs> yeah. And we just saw it. So it's, it's good to get it out early. You, you want to get that out early. Oh, man. All right. Hey, do you... Yeah, what was it? It was at Watch the Throne when Sonic found out who he was going to be playing in the next bracket. He pinged the uh, Ryu record. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, you got to grind. And uh, the people who've been winning online have been winning offline. So, but Can we talk about how close Spargo has made this again? Yes. Go ahead. Talk. <laughs> He's one hit away from making it dead even. All right. Well, there we go. The up tilt. Not going to be enough quite yet. There we go, the One dash away. Attack. Yep, that will do it. 28% again. That's like two back airs. Will it really be the fourth time he closes? Like, exactly like this on this stage? It's ridiculous. Today? It, literally the stage. Literally in the same way. <laughs> if he does it here in this game one, yeah, I think that's going to break his mentality. That's going to hurt, yeah. At that point. Especially with this 102%. Oh, that's oh, a, yeah. a uh -oh. grab! I just want game 10. For, for what, the last one down of the year? Is gonna kill them. I'm down for game 10. Sonic dies at 25 Rocket. from that down air. Yeah, 100%. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. 53, where is it coming from? Oh my right. god. Oh no, the air dodge. Maybe. Uh, right, Sonic. No, what a catch, that forward smash. Hawing his way through every matchup. Now, I would imagine Sonic's even being able to clutch out, out that win, uh, you know, a sigh of relief. But how much do you think it hurts knowing that that comeback was almost inevitable? I mean, he needed that. The 10 game dream might be real now. Bro, that. that Forward smash against Lima is still making me sick to my stomach. <laughs> like, I'm still thinking about it after seeing that. And the thing is, is after you end that, too, you just, Lima just starts like, giggling, just laughing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> the, long, the longest checkmate of all time. <laughs> Bayonetta recovering with 50 resources, one charging forward smash. I, I think of rivalries across the history of Smash Bros. And I think if, when these two entered a tournament, guaranteeing them being in grants together, I feel like it has to be one of the most likely. Like of any rivalry that there ever was in Smash, it's it's definitely been super prominent. If you include online, especially, especially with like oh. how, how volatile that ultimate can be. Exactly, right? it's way that, more impressive. Right. Oh no! We are we are changing the stage here, by the way. Yeah. Yep. And I also like that Spargo's bringing out the classic outfit cloud, the superior cloud. <laughs> oh, it is cool when a game has a remake that's like really good too. You know? Yeah. It's, no not, like, it's not phoned in. He makes it back though. No forward smash there. Wow. I'm, I'm shocked. Cloud of no jump. 
Gotta make it from that distance. He hit Bayonetta. Why is he missing Cloud? <laughs> yeah. It's a different game. You want to get it. Oh my lord. Back here to come out. Super rough spot, but wow, a fantastic recovery, finding your way back to the stage. And now you got Sonics on the back foot here. That's a back air. Not going to quite take out the stock. Texan, oh, they ready for it somehow. I don't know what Spargo was thinking there. I'm going to be real. I think uh, he definitely buffered the attack. I, I think he kind of got the two hit upbeat spike that he got earlier. The spot dodges. Oh, uh, no limit needed. His back air in neutral. Descended him to the right side. There we go, a grab to the down throw. Up the ASAP, yep. Look at that angle, that angle yeah. mm -hmm. But if you are Spargo, you got to feel good about that first game because it's just like, Sonic's had all this time to do well, and now Spargo is resetting his mind. He's like, I'm back on the sticks. I'm figuring it out. I'm slowing down the pace. Mm. There we go, up throw into the up air. Didn't go for the second one. Instead, actually kind of reset the tempo and got a spin dash out of it to rack up a little bit more damage. Oh, good punish on that. <laughs> Oh, another down here, though. Oh? Oh, yeah, he was mashing that a little bit. <laughs> yeah, losing your resources as Cloud is pretty terrifying, and Sonic is battling all the way in here. Yeah. I gotta wonder, if this becomes a 3-0, do we see another character? Uh, if he gets 3-0, yes. I think so. There's no reason you would practice all those switches, all that variety, all that Corrin, without, like, a plan B up your sleeve, right? Yeah. But, dude, he, I can't even think of the last time he's played, like, Power Mithra. I, he I, saved I his Corrin. jump? Oh my god, he's such a better player than I am. It's it's unreal. Fair. Oh my god. There's no argument there, Skip. I know. <laughs> Sonic's waking up. I would have jumped already. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and the winner of this set will go on to fight Zap in Super Grand. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jazar. <laughs> Jazar comes in with the briefcase. <laughs> Super Grand. The money in the bank. <laughs> the money in the bank briefcase. <laughs> I'm <laughs> cashing it in while Spar goes on his last dog. <laughs> oh my god. Super Grand is crazy. Great Grand. The coin based briefcase. Right, right. You can, and you can jump it on any no, set. No, I, I would love that as a feature in the game. I've been talking about this where it's just like you push a special input and it puts you in a game in progress of Smash Bros. That's crazy. But like it sets you at like the lowest percent and lowest like stocks as the other person, you know? Yeah. So for example, he would take Spargo's stats right now. I, 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 I will so thug finals best of one. Whoever wins this. I'm so down. If it's Sonic's on Yoshi's, you got it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> no, actually I shouldn't. I gotta I gotta hold that forever. <laughs> Leave with my W. All right, well, there we go. Trying to follow up with that forward air, not able to get that connection that they needed. Oh, okay. I thought that back was. Oh, two wow. Oh, it's going to be. It's Only. Gonna... How does he do it? I would have loved to see Sonic just press down air there. Oh, that shield is so Just like, get off me back here. Parry. Oh, oh. oh, shoot. You were talking about those parries. Oh, shoot. Sonic's not playing around anymore. He's like, this is my last turn of the year and yours too. I'm telling you, that's a real real thing coming from loser's bracket is that like momentum. It's like, I just want a really good set. I'm going to keep doing it again. But it's also real. Again, you win set one, but this part was like, I'm warm now. He went, Psh. that was incredible. Psh. That was Harry down <laughs> smash. Yeah, that, that, that's like, he did the splits on him. I wish in real life, whenever you like lock something, the paranoia came out. I'd be doing it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> or I could high five someone. Psh. Mm hmm? We had a high five yesterday with that. Yeah. that it, sounded like sound, that. Yeah. it sounded like that. <laughs> it's like, well, a where, good where, tap where you're like, like the perfect like cup oh, yeah. palms. And it's just mm -hmm. like, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, so good. Corin already. Oh, see? All the doubters. I'm telling you, you don't practice this much of this character without having it as a last resort. I could see the reverse to three Orin here. I could see it. Or just a reset and then spark back to the drawing board. Yep. We'll definitely see how it plays out here. Uh, but right now, Got to try and find a way to get your, you know, momentum and tempo. Because switching to a different character in the last game is a bit rough. But Spargo does have that little bit of uh, benefit that if he loses here, we just go into another set, and then the character's more warmed up. Yeah. You think six sets is enough between these guys? We need a seventh one. Mm. Endless sets, man. All right, there we go. Up there into the back here, just tacking on some pretty solid damage. Well, you know, the game plan between fighting Cloud and Corrin well, different, there's got to be like a general rule of thumb, like a fundamental rule that you apply to these characters. They're sorties with a recovery that can be giveable and a lot of range. Yeah. Oh! What I think is really interesting, though, is just how much the tempo and the pace is changed drastically between Cloud and Corn. You know, Corn's a bit more floaty, right? A little bit slower combos, but they are punishing. So just trying to see how Sonic adapts to that oh. himself is going to be interesting. 
Yeah, we do have these faster disjoints here. We got some good aerial priority here with Corrin. A little bit harder to give, but still givable. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, not going to be the first stock there. Throws out that charge. Look for that. If Love it, that pin. Yeah, if he got that timing, ooh. The thing is, that's scary. If he does figure out that timing, Sonics could be in a lot of trouble. That explodes stocks, dude. Yeah. yeah. But speaking of it being in a lot of trouble. <laughs> This song is so nonsensical for a Smash Bros game. Dude, I love it though. For a fight on this crazy apocalyptic platform. <laughs> <laughs> this was my arena song for like years. It's so good. <laughs> I get good vibes when I hear this music. Man, if only we added WarioWare to the legal stage list. There's still the time. We talked about a bracket reset. Mm -hmm. Try me again, dude. We got, we got a lot of weekends next year. We do. We got <laughs> a, a lot, lot of weekends. A lot of, a lot of experimentation we can do. The WarioWare box. I, I'm here for it. <laughs> All right. Well, right now, getting back into this game, it is three stocks to two currently, but we do find a way for Spargo to close out that first stock here. Now, granted, 0% for Sonics, but, I mean, the game's already slowed down, and that's a nice little start. Now, also, you've all been fooled. These cameras you see, they've been videos we recorded weeks ago. <laughs> it's been <laughs> online this whole time. Yeah, online footage entirely. Yeah. These games have already been played. I bet you all bought it, didn't you? Yeah, everybody yeah. was on, assigned under an NDA. <laughs> Fools! <laughs> <laughs> They may as well at this point just like, like load up a bunch of sets already, save themselves some time. Yep. <laughs> These have slowly been like dragged back. Let me fix that. Real quick. We really we could see a three O Risa here, and I, mean, I dropped my phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fares through the through the uh, dragon. Dude. That's oh. Like a yeah, actually, Spargo is bringing this back now, though. Sonic's, like, air dodge is like a third jump, especially it being, like, frame two. It's, it's such a crazy option. Checked it right on time. Spargo <laughs> is figuring it out. Yeah, but Sonic's definitely a little bit ready, especially for that side B. And I feel like Spargo's relying on that side B just a little too much. But we'll see if you can find a way to start mixing it up a little bit. Yep. Almost enough on that one. One more might do it. Who has the dash tag in this game that's the most reliable kill? Is it Cloud? Oh my god, great right back. Uh, probably. Like uh, no. burst Ganon? Like a burst nah. dash tag that kills you super early. Uh, super early? Yeah. I think, yeah, I think Cloud and Ganon are, 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 are good picks. Ike. No, Ike's kind of Ike's, slow. Ike's is so Samus. strong, dude. But if it's Ike's kind of fast. Too. If Ike's lands, it's <laughs> it's so strong. Yeah, yeah. Because it can actually double hit. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay. Forward tilt. Oh wait, Steve dash attack. What are we talking about? Diamond? Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, are you kidding me? Ike, bro. It's it's uh, to me. It's Ike so far. Yeah. yeah. Wario too. I like Wario's. It is early for that one because you can combo into it too. Yeah. Look at these up airs though from Spargo sitting at 176. Sonic's chance to get the reset right here to make his own narrative for the coin box IRL. He's gonna shield that sh that tipper forward smash, but he's not gonna shield that. Spargo says, "You gotta take this set off me from my cold dying hands." Mm -hmm. Four in reverse three up against now. That, that is impressive. I mean, it did work against Wrath earlier today, so it's not cold. Yeah, see here, as we're looking here though, Spargo looking very calm and composed. Like, looking very good, and I, I want to say Sonic's is looking composed here, but I feel like you can tell there's a little bit of nervousness. Yeah, I feel like when he when he has the AirPods on, the, the, the kid's in his, own, in his own world, you know? Yep. Brings the cloud back out? That's so confusing considering how well oh, he it there. Oh, I think... This is going to sound crazy. I think I know what he's doing. I think he's... Warming up the corner for set two. I think he's sacrificing set one. I think this is, this is some hella advanced stuff that we can't really comprehend, but when you've played this many times... Against this guy, it actually yeah. might be worth. It's the proto Bantam. Because we, we can say the proto. Yeah, because we, we, we go zero zero, and then corner's right back right away. Yep. Well, I mean, I've seen some players where like they'll play another character, right, and then get a W, but then go back to the character they were playing, right, because they it, they just need that really quick change of pace. So me personally, I would never do this as a top player, but I only have one character, so I'm not gonna. Say yeah. Anything. I'll stop talking. Because like, my thing is, like, because you have to play a little bit slower with Corrin, so yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. He, maybe he played Corrin to play slow and then transfer that over to Cloud. But you know what I would do? I, I would, instead of, like, kind of picking, I would do Puff Styles. Like, go to, ag super aggro to ultra campy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like choosing a character within a character. I mean, right now, it's it's looking kind of decent here. It's not incredible, but Spargo is in a great position. Not anymore. <laughs> Dude. The timing of that was perfect. Uh, I, I still think Sonic is looking really good. It was looking a lot better earlier because now Sargo is bringing it back. Yep. Uh, oh, especially that dash tag. Looking yeah. for it. That dash tag would have done it. 
That's a tough spot. That was, a, that was a very tough spot there because if you air dodge in, he still gets a punish on you. But it doesn't matter for Spargo. He finds a way to clean it up here. It's a good amount of limit, too, while Sonic's coming back on the platform, so... <laughs> Woo! My, oh, he said, leapfrog. I'll take a quick 51. I don't care if you have limit. I'll parry that, too, but even that... Combo. Too much. 32 on his own now. Spargo on the offensive. Dude, why is Cloud Forward Air like that? <laughs> I love it. It's so good. I love it. Okay. Sonic's, though, kind of giving him some panic options here. Up air, back air. Big hit. Back Reads it. Actually, that's a dead Spargo. I'm sorry. Wow. He set point for Sonic's guys. I'm actually super surprised that Spargo just gave that up. He had almost full limit. Yeah, it's there's definitely been some uh, some questionable decisions here, but I mean we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean as we get into this potential final stock for this set, Sonic's looking pretty good, but that's 81 percent, and Spargo could certainly clean this up. What a grab. Yep, fantastic grab. Okay, looking for that down air once again. Ooh, we are cooking. Limit. Oh, great spin shot into that, actually. Trying to catch him off guard. Pressure here. Dude, his parries have been on point. That off smash gave him the rest of the limit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the opening? Oh, no. Shield's low. Yep, shield poke. And now we are last stock scenarios here. Spargo could find a way to push us to a game five. Looking pretty decent, but Sonics is not backing down. Wants this reset. Wants a chance to really take it all home. Especially being down 2-0 initially, Spargo cleaning things up really well. <laughs> oh, oh that's it. Wow. What a reversal. Oh! oh! God! I knew we were going to get one at some point tonight. <laughs> Holy! Dude, the... Sonic's got a little weight on him, though. The mental you got to have to let that rip and be confident in it is crazy, though. You have to be a differential equation. Does Spargo make it back on stage, though? Probably that different. Does he make it back on stage? Yep. He does. Great recovery. And now you can tell Sonic's shaking. He's like, I can't believe I live off that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Limit. Oh my god, Limit is here again. Oh, oh. no. Oh no. No grab! No punish. And fair. Gonna be a big knockback. He's gonna save it. Look for the up B. Oh, That's it. That's it. That's wow. it. We have a reset. Oh my god. Dude. Catching that climb hazard, uh, limit climb hazard with the spring, just absolutely destroyed that entirely. Well scattered by Sonics, really finding a way to push this reset here. And again, completely reset. Grand finals. Nobody's got any advantages here, except for a little bit of momentum in Sonics' favor. So uh, that, it's starting Cloud, by the way. Set two. Starting Cloud. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure what the, what the thought process here is. I know he did just lose the last the three cloud games. Lost cloud. All three games is Cloud. It's the opposite of uh, Watch the Throne. But that last game was looking pretty clean in the end. Yep. Gentlemen, so, it's that, been that's, an honor. That's one reason I like it. The, fi the final set of 2013. Or 2023. Right now. That's crazy. There's seven set in eight days. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that is the craziest stat, honestly, because it's like just different tournaments. Yep. Different characters. Yep. Different platforms online, offline. <laughs> yeah, it's actually Ooh. kind of insane. But, oh, big conversion right there. 105 unanswered. Yeah, this is actually insane. Sonics is playing incredible right now, carrying that momentum from the last set into here. 122% unanswered. This could be a stock. Does not find it, but gets Whoa. the second back here to close it out. Look, I need someone to let me know how many coin boxes Sonics has won because. We might have to plus one it up tonight <laughs> to get a final tally. But you know what? I feel like, and it's no shade to Spargo, but if there was someone to win the first coin box IRL, it, it makes sense. I right. feel like it makes sense to be Sonics. And we're seeing it here, man. First seed for a reason. Like, honestly, some of the cleanest results in general, offline or online. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, God. Oh, I thought we see a finishing touch. <laughs> And you know what's really crazy? Because uh, I remember reading all those all those comments that people always said like, "No, science isn't going to do anything offline," and all those juice boxes. <laughs> and look at look at this! Look at where we are, uh, man. He, he's he's becoming that guy. He, he's he oh, is wow. that guy. <laughs> one of the best four players on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Undisputed. Potentially number one, dude. There's arguments. I would love to see uh, just the doubles between like. Spargo Sonics and like Aqua Mia. I'd watch that. That'd be kind of sick. Those would be some hype it, could, it could potentially be the worst like double setup ever. No, it doesn't be a cool game. But I, you know, I, it would I, be I cool. Would I would definitely love to see it. Right, here we go. Back here. Oh, these parries! Oh I know he got the God. up smash, but these parries from Sonics have been so good. I'm going to say right now, Spargo needs this game. He, he, he needs this game with Cloud right now. Will he get it, though? I don't know. Great tech, though. Going to be able to survive just a little bit longer. Back throw. Not going to kill. Bro, how do you start the bracket reset with a zero to death for 34 seconds? There's a spring one. 
Oh, okay, bit of a flub. Probably Dude. getting greedy with that with that uh, frost slash. I love the parry to walk away. <laughs> Zero percent, by the way. Yeah, Sonic is really pushing for this. And again, kind of what you brought up earlier, Hungrybox. I think if Sonic wins this, he could very well be number one in the world. This is a great way to finish off the season. It's it's hard to really gauge it with the the Japanese, the big two in Japan. But right. Really, we just gotta applaud the four of them. Yeah. For yeah. for being just a really a cut above the rest. Mm -hmm. Luto sitting probably at a comfortable fifth, but like, man. What it's, they accomplished in this meta is insane. It's crazy because, like, I feel like this is the closest we've had for, like, multiple people contending for number one. Yeah. And we just had that. And Melee and Ultimate. Yeah, yeah. Melee. It's, it's insane, man. Smash is thriving. When you give this many years to any game, it's going to be that contested. Yep. I, I, I just think it's crazy, though, that there's many players doing that. None of them are Leo. That it, well, Leo, Leo's had his time, man. He, he has let people know that he is that you know, guy. That, <laughs> that man ran the entire scene with solo by lift. So many years. He, he gets a pass in my book. Dude, yeah, he, he's <laughs> solo by lift. He's the go. I don't care. <laughs> solo by lift. Wow! That's already... Guys, zero percent. Four games straight, he's lost with Cloud. Mm -hmm. He's got to go Corrin. I, <sighs> if I was his coach, I'd just tell him to go Corrin. At this point, yeah. The Corrin game was convincing. It was. It was fairly convincing. I was with it. Red, we're going to FD, so maybe the corn comes out it, here. It has to be. This, this is where he brought corn out last time. No way. Wow. No, no, no. I do not. Interesting. There's just no... I will never understand, like, the mind of a player. This is really, really... I'm not saying he's gonna, he, can't, he can't win. Obviously, he can. Yeah. But, like, he, he didn't win. The data. Fight. Just the data is insane. I don't know. Him and Leo have the same issue. Yeah, Sonic's up 1-0 here in the final set of the tournament. This is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> this is very interesting to see how this is playing out right now. Okay. But the last time we saw them on FD, uh, again, he did take the W, and he did 3-0 him earlier, and FD was oh, one of the jump! winners. Oh, my God. He almost found it, too. Yep, there we go with the climb hazard. Putting on just a little bit of damage, but nothing really crazy for either player so far. Yeah. So all things considered, too, that last game... Got a lot closer than it had to be, considering it started with a zero to death. Uh. He's got a limit, though. You got to respect him a little bit here. Oh, dude, Sonic Bathro has got to be like the move of the tournament, <laughs> or or the forward smash, dude. Yeah. It, what, what's it called in Xbox Live where you do every single achievement in the game, like uh. everything possible? I don't know what it's called for Xbox, but I know for PlayStation it's like platinum. Yeah. You get a platinum trophy. Le Leo has platinumed ultimate. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. That guy's like, done it all. He's right? like, do you want to do it again with a mid tier? Yeah, sure. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, Leo's new game plus, dude. Yeah. Yep. Well, however, uh, at Rising Grind, I did ask Leo. I asked him, who do you think are the GOATs? And he said, either me or Spargo. Yeah, that's fine. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see if Spargo can kind of live up that, that reputation. Not that he hasn't. And he's, you know, but he's he's clearly there. You have to imagine Spargo, like, has winning records, I'm sure, on the other three. He has winning records on Spargo, Aqua, and Sonic's offline, I'm, I'm almost dude, certain. Dude, it's just the other people in the world that he loses to, oddly he, enough. He's but, undefeated against Aqua, right? No, it's, it's insane. insane. Seven and one. Oh. <laughs> Seven and one. It may as well Arcola. be. <laughs> but, like, Aqua, but, the most dominant player in the but, world. What, 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 yeah. One week ago, though, Spargo, as the fourth seed of Watch the Throne, if you watched it, mm. he went through the top five seeds that weren't him. Like, five, three, two, one, he beat all, all of them. Yep. Solidly. Didn't drop a set last you week. You know, when we were eating our Italian dinner last night in the group and Spargo was there, I asked him, Spargo, every single player in the world, put them in a room, put them playing at their peaks. Like, peak tweak, angry Sonics, you know, everything. Like, who, is, uh, who is the greatest... Who wins that tournament? He says me. Not even a question. Yeah. And uh, you know what? I believe him, though. It's confident. Right now, though, I think <laughs> Peak Spargo <laughs> is, is... You know what the difference is here? Huh? I told Spargo. I said Sonics would have eaten this tiramisu. That's true. That's true. Spargo took a bite, but I said Sonics would have ate more. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and Spargo went to the dinner, and you know what Sonics did? He stayed in the menu, and he grinded. He did. He, he grinded yeah. this exact matchup with Wrath yep. for two hours straight. If he wins it, man... He earned it. Let yep. it be a lesson. Don't get Italian food. I'm gonna. I'm, if I'm Wrath, I'm like, hey, I want a tip. <laughs> <laughs> You're walking away with 3,500. You can. You can spare some change. All right. Spargo trying to work to close this gap. He needs this game, dude. He just needs it. You can't go down 2-0 in the reset. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be a very oh. tough ask. All right, definitely been hitting a little tough right here. This is a super. I mean, this is essentially the deciding. Ah! 
parry. I, oh, wow. Cross that's slash. A, wow. Spargo keeping it as close as he can. Fair for the kill. If Sonic goes up 2-0 here, I'm calling it. Alright like, <laughs> guys, go home. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, <laughs> you, you've played enough. You two have played enough. I'm taking your controllers. <laughs> Dude, the, the way they're tearing, time out. The way they're tearing down the venue, they, they might be the ones to do it instead of us. Yeah. yeah. All right. Right now, still kind of battling between these two. Very close. We are tearing down the limits of this tournament, man. We're approaching midnight Eastern time. That's always so funny to me is when a character's running and you footstool them and you slide with the character. It's very goofy. <laughs> also, shouts this being on, <laughs> unironically the most on time coin box ever. <laughs> oh, no. That is, oh, that is my. actually. Oh, and we're still running a little late, yeah, but. <laughs> no. We're actually, we might end before midnight. This is a miracle. <laughs> wow. Oh, we're going to end before midnight. Insane. Uh, props to uh, Spargo for bringing this. Never mind. Oh! You want to go tell him, or? Bro, I, this is it. Spargo shakes his head. Sonics is one game away from his 18th coin box. So I know Spargo shook his head, but did you roll his eyes? I've never cursed a player harder in my life. <laughs> I think if he, doesn't cor if he doesn't go corn here at the throw. Maybe. It's the exact opposite of Watch the Throne. Mm -hmm. That's, I'm just... Just give Sonic the payout, dude. 3,500 bucks. Don't, don't. With his PayPal. <laughs> That's it. I'm calling it. GG's. I, I will never understand the mind of a top player. He played he refused six to, games. Right he now. won with Corrin. Five and one. He won with Corrin and then lost three more with Cloud right after. It's He won with Corrin. He won with Corrin. I don't know, man. I'm not going to try and justify it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and watch greatness between two of the greatest players I, this game. I will say, seen. if he pulls this off, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, that's the first thing I'm going to ask him in the winner's interview. What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> As you should. Maybe he's thinking of the analogy like 99% of gamblers quit right before they hit it. <laughs> Maybe a six cloud <laughs> Maybe this is the Yo, one. if he wins this, I'm, I'm claiming that's it. That, uh, that you, you activated the code. He is the code, yeah. Okay. I know. This is a bad start to game I, three. I think this is it. I think this is actually it. I mean, we have seen a lot of games that have started like this, and Spargo was able to turn them around. In winners finals. They, ha they haven't happened in grand, <laughs> but oh. here they certainly have. But yeah, yeah. If I get hit by up smash, it's over. I'm plugged. But the thing <laughs> is, is like, I can't even say Spargo's playing bad. Like, yes, it's a little bit questionable. Sonics is playing incredible. Yep. Yeah. Like, we and, can't take that away from him. And this what? isn't like a thing like, oh, I want to save my core and strats. Like, no, dude, it's the last turn of the year. Also, Next, it's just, yeah. And, and you saw, you said it yourself from the Lima set onward. It's just like Sonic's parries that point on have been really clean. Yeah. His parries have been phenomenal. His combos have been clean. He's His mental. His mental has been so good. Okay. What I thought was nervousness earlier when we saw him on the ca uh, the cameras when they were sitting down, that was just him being a cold-blooded killer. His, his swag too different. Yeah. Maybe he's just got like a resting worried face. <laughs> My opinion. <laughs> Hey, man, you know the vibes. Or do we? This, this is... <laughs> just I didn't say anti camping. I think this has been honest Smash Bros. right here. What? Yeah, no, it has. What an absolute tournament, man. All these crazy sets that lead up to this. Has been. Great song choice, though. I know it's in the background. <laughs> <laughs> if they were... Oh! Real. Oh! No. That's crucial. Spargo frustrated there. Has limits. Gonna use it. Text off the spring. Oh, jab. Dead from jab. And Cloud is dead. This is tournament point. 60% two stock. Sonic's one stock away from being your IRL champion. Don't worry about your connection. You can't lag test this one. This is real. This, this is a $2,000 money match, by the way. You can touch this right here. Oh, God. Spargo looking for some sign of hope here. I mean, he could very well find a way to close this out and even things mm -hmm. up here, but that's a good start from Sonics, getting just a little 22%. But you know what? He can take his time. We all know the vibes Bro. and what they can be. But right now, Sonics, again, playing phenomenal, playing calm, playing composed. One, two, three, jab. Okay. That's if you set up. I never count out either of these two oh, until yeah. I see the word game. Uh, I don't know. We were counting out Sparko, man. I know, but now that I'm being more serious, it's just... <laughs> They've been here so often. That's oh, a yeah. very crucial limit to Oh, no! Oh, quick back air. Just for one last chance at life. 
There's the fair. 70% though, it's so brutal. And he just needs the one good read. Up air, okay. Oh, God. Is he see him. Look at Spargo leaned in a little bit more. He is locked in here. He wants to find a way to send this to a game four. But Sonic's uh, spin dash into the back. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, oh. here off the top. No is jump, it? no jump. Has it? Okay, up to it. He's going to for the finishing touch. I right, finishing touch definitely won't do this. Okay, throws out the blade beam, just seeing yeah. if he can rack up some damage. Fair trade. Damage he got the trade. Oh my god. There we go, up air. Is Uses the spring. I don't know about oh that, but he no. lands Misses safely. Dash attack, Who is the, the true champion of the series? 140. He can't get touched again, dude. From two years ago to now. I think the nerves are settling in for both players right here. Look, you can tell Sonic is giving yeah. Spargo all the respect in the world, just waiting for one opening. Eee, that could have been mm. crucial. All these misses. There really is only one. And... That's it! Sonics is your coin box! IRL champion! Look at that. Good sportsmanship there. Spargo taking the loss with a smile on his face, knowing that his friend is still picking up the W, and that's what I love about this game, man. Huge clean win right there. Going into the grand finals with a 6-1. 6-0 on the cloud, by the way. Yep. Kind of insanity. Oh, man. Especially after how rough the winner's finals was. I mean, you got to hand it to Sonics, bro. It was. Everyone, thank you for sticking around. This has been the culmination of uh, two years of teamwork, really. Three. Three years of <laughs> teamwork. Yeah. We were talking about Coinbox specifically. Oh, Coinbox, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want everyone to remember why this whole series started in the first place. It's because we couldn't go anywhere to play tournaments, and so we still figured out a way to do it. It wasn't as good. It wasn't as, you know, perfect or polished. But in a time where there was no convenience, we found convenience in it. And we also found friends. We also found homies. We found I didn't know this players. guy. Yeah, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know who he was. And, I mean, and, yeah, it was literally Juice Box 3. That's when we met. And you know the thing with the Smash community is we always figure out a way to figure out how to get out of whatever pickle in, and we always make it out on top. And right now, my friends, I think we are back on top. This has been the first ever Coinbox IRL in front of 12,000 viewers, ending before midnight here on the East Coast here in Washington, D.C. And, of course, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and interview Sonic if he wants to. Yeah. But for you two as well, gentlemen, Skiff Rickle has oh, been here since the start. Dude. Any last words? Uh, honestly, thank you. Thank you to Team Liquid. Because uh, honestly, I was literally just a no-name caster. I met last randomly in a tournament, and he asked me to cast the first juice box. And I would not be here. I would have not cast the top eights. I would have not met so many great people if it wasn't for this tournament series. So uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Seriously. Rickles, <laughs> after eight years of being in this community, man, it's all about ways to share our favorite game. And like you said, in a, in a format where we couldn't go offline and play it anymore, we just came together and do it. And I just like commentating Juice Box 3 and, like again, not knowing this guy. And then he's become one of my best friends in my whole life. So I owe it to this tournament. And uh, uh, I, I guess I'm going to get off the mic before uh, I start crying in front of 11,000 people. <laughs> <laughs> my guy. Hey, man. Honor to cast beside Absolutely. you guys. Let's get yeah. Sonics in here for a winner's <laughs> interview as we wrap everything up. The GOAT? That's my GOAT. <laughs> There's our boy. <laughs> could, it, could it be anyone else? Could it really, like, theoretically be anyone else to win this tournament? I mean, yeah, I, I think Spargo, you know, he's up there, of course. Like, But it's your series, isn't it? It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was thinking, like, obviously Spargo had your number earlier this week. This is, like, the fifth or sixth time you guys fought in a row. But I think when you walked in here and you saw the coin box sign, did part of that give you, like, the thought, like, this is my space? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is my, I was like, this is my turf, you know, this is my, this is my home. Like, I feel at home. This is... It's my thing, you know, like Coinbox. I uh, I was born and raised in Coinbox. So. <laughs> you were born in the in the lag and molded by it, and now yes. you have no lag, and it was in person, and you still proved it. That's got to be pretty validating to you. We were talking about in commentary earlier. You remember how many times people counted you out early pandemic and said this guy will be washed offline, right? And now you are one of the big four. Yeah. What, what is that journey meant to you? Um, honestly, it's it's meant a lot, you know, because it's also like. I've managed to prove myself, uh, not just to the people that said those kind of things, but also to me, to myself. Because uh, I, I uh, as much as I wanted to say, well, this is Wi-Fi, but I can also replicate it offline. I knew it was different, but I did believe in me. I did believe in myself to like make the necessary adjustments from online to offline to kind of like get to that same level offline. So it means a lot, honestly. Like. I don't know, man. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I, uh, 
especially considering the fact that I lost to Spargo last weekend. So I got my run back like literally a week after. Let me, let me ask you this. Last week, he went cloud. Yeah. Six times, and he beat you 6-0. He, yeah. went, he, he beat you in cloud six times in a row. He went one game as ages, lost it. Yeah. One of those six. Today, the exact opposite. Beat yeah. you one game with Corrin, mm -hmm. and decided to go cloud six times and lose. Yeah. Was that his mistake, or did, do you know why he did that? I think he did that because... We Wi-Fi a lot. We play, um, we play a lot of first to five. So he'll try a bunch of different characters against me. And his Corrin, uh, I usually win when we play, and he goes Corrin. Uh, and I think what happened was he kind of like thought to himself, "Oh, I think he's figured out. He's not like you know, it's not going to work twice in a row." So I would say he he had six games to play with. I think he maybe could have given given it another try, but ultimately. I'll take it. Like <laughs> you gotta take it. Exactly. At this point. Well, look, man. Can I ask? Do you know how much you've made playing in coin boxes? If you get to add up all the prize pools, and then this thirty-five hundred dollars you're getting tonight, estimate how much would it be for playing Wi-Fi? Plus playing the coin box series. Uh, just coin box, or I'm trying to remember. I know, like that one year where I just won. I think it was forty-four coin boxes. How many? 44? It was 40-something, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh, with juice box and lunch box, too? No, no, no. It was back when it was weekly. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was like 40-something. Bro, was it? Yeah. And it was, it was a lot. It was like, off of coin box alone, it was like 40. 44? Yeah. It was like 44K or something. 44 grand. Yeah. Man! But you earned it. No one can take that away from me. You earned it. You stuck Thank through you. the crappy Wi-Fi. And you sat through what I hope was a great experience here for you, IRL, for once. Bring it all together. We want to do this again. Would you come back if we did it again? Of course. Of course I would. I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, you know, you avoided, in a sense, the, the uh, sponsor curse. You had a, you know, maybe a rough start to the week, but you played well. And now yeah. you won. Do you have any words for LG? The sponsorship curse is broken. It, it was already broken, but it's broken again, you know? Just I gave to you make advice sure. on that, too, yeah. You did, yeah. yeah. I appreciate that a lot. And that's what it was. Everyone, uh, your champion, Luminosity Gaming's very own Sonics the Hedgehog. Congratulations again. Thank you. And I hope to see you many more events in 2024. Indeed, we will. And with that chat, that will be it. We're going to sign off. Thank you for believing in my project. We're just getting started. 10K viewers this year. We got a peak here, hopefully, in the near future. Who knows what will happen. Thank you, as always. I'm HBox, that's Sonics, we're Team Liquid, this is brought to you by Coinbase. Y'all have a good night and happy holidays.